I'm just going to put this up right now. Actually, in fact, can I put you on speaker? Because I just started recording. I want to tell you something. Oh, hold on, let me put you on speaker. Blog Buddies, it's me, Ross, and we have Dr. Neighbor here. Dr. Neighbor? Hello, Blog Buddies. Yeah, there's Dr. Neighbor for you. Um, so Dr. Neighbor and I are going to go to Target, run some errands. Yeah. And then stay healthy in the first step. We're buying bikes. We're buying, I'm buying a bike, you guys. It's true, I'm buying a bike at Target. And then I also wanted to tell you and tell you blog buddies as well, Dr. Neighbor, can we swing through linens and things? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Can I, can I tell you why, though? What? Brace yourself. Are you sitting down? I am sitting. Blog buddies, are you sitting down? I have horrible news. Uh-oh. Linens and things is going out of business. What? They have not done that yet? Damn this economy! Oh, man. Oh, man. So can we go just to pay our... Moment of silence. Oh, I'm getting another call. 30 minutes to get your neighbor. Okay, call me. Take a shower and call me. Okay, bye. I think that's my brother. Hello? Hello? Hey, I'm filming today's talkie. Say hi to the blog buddies. Hi, blog buddies. What's happening? That's my brother. Hey, can I call you back in just a second? got to film this. You want to be on the blog? Well, okay. Hi. <laughs> no, call me later. Bye. Hey, wait, Eric, I have bad news. What? Linens and things is closing. Oh, I just about drove off the road. <laughs> you serious? <laughs> Don't patronize me. Don't you dare. Uh, All right, I got to do this. If you, if you need me, I'm here for you. Thank you, Eric. That's what brothers are for. I can't believe you're worried about that. Okay, bye. Bye. I'm not worried. I'm just, I'm sad. I love linens and things. Well, there's... Especially those 20% coupons that they would send in the mail. Did you guys get those? Yeah, I always threw those away. If I would have known you wanted them, I would have sent them to you. You threw them away. And now look. Look at what you've wasted. All right, I have to go. Bye. I'll call you back. Bye. Blog Buddies, hi. First of all, look at this. Look at this angel. Can you look? Hey, Angel Butt. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Okay. Now we're back to regularly scheduled blog. Um, anyway, yeah, I hate to begin this whole blog with that. Oh, just horrible news. Anyway, there's also a 30% going out of business sale going on right now. So go, go, don't walk, run to linens and things. And I really want to say I did like a linens and things. God, what happened? You know, Bed Bath and Beyond and Linens and Things are basically cousins in my mind. And what happens if God which one had the as seen on TV section? That one was my favorite. Anyway, hi Rob buddies! Um, it's me, Ross, yes you know. And it has been so long since I've spoken with you because um, well, life got crazy. I was gonna post a blog yesterday, but I just ran out of time. Anyway, so let me get to a few things, okay? One, why did life get crazy? I'll tell you. Two, why was I in the desert this weekend? I'll tell you. It's because of the same reason. Huh? <clears throat> okay, ready? I was filming a special for E! Entertainment Television called The Nastiest Jobs in Hollywood. Oh, wait, no. That's wrong. <laughs> Hollywood's Nastiest Jobs. That's right. I was hosting it like... You know, hey, I'm Ross, one of the hottest news jobs. No, I don't really sound like that. God, wouldn't that be cool if I... But isn't that great? Let's give a little round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And it's very exciting. I wasn't going to tell anyone until it aired because here's the secret backstory that I probably shouldn't tell you, but I'll tell you, is that it's a one-time special, but if it does super well, there's a teeny tiny chance, just the teeniest chance, teeny tiny, this big, see this big. See, and it's going to get smaller. It's that big. That it could go to a series. It become a series, like a regular show. Like next week on Hollywood's Nastiest Job. I like that announcer voice. Anyway, it's, yeah. I co-host it with this, this really cute girl, Molly Shea, who's very sweet and cute and pretty and blonde and tan. And then there's me. <laughs> next to her. Anyway, but still, it, it was really fun. And I'm, I'm not, I can't tell you what I did this weekend because it's so gross that I blocked it out of my mind. 
when I was done shooting, I honestly was like Meryl Streep in Silkwood when she, after the radiation, after she was exposed to that. I, like, I wanted to scrub myself with like a steel brush and just get... Yeah. You will not believe the nasty crap I had to do for this show. But because of that, I think it's going to be really funny, I think. And it airs... Are you ready? Get your pen. November 21st on E. I have no idea what time. I'll let you know soon. But isn't that exciting? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. Anyway, it's, it's good. It makes me think maybe I'll be able to get a job after the Tonight Show's over. Because, you know, Jay's over in, um, in May. And then... I don't have a job. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll work it out. Hey, everything's going to be fine. Fine. Um, speaking of tonight, Joe, I'm on vacation this week. This is this. I think this might be one of our last uh, hiatuses, you know, when they have reruns. This might be one of the last ones, I think. I, don't, I know we have Christmas. Anyway, uh, it's, uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've just been, yesterday, why, part of why I was so tired is because I literally worked like four days in a row, nonstop doing this special and um i just was so tired oh so what i did do and i told you this yesterday if you came to the blog yesterday i wrote i'm gonna go watch w and check back for my review but then i ended up not posting my review and i'm gonna post it right now all right so time for my review w oliver stone movie it's about george w bush i love it i didn't love it I just didn't love it. I thought it was kind of watered down, a little empty. T uh, Tandy Newton, who is an actress I usually love, playing Condoleezza Rice, is the weirdest voice I've ever heard out of it. That's the weirdest voice I've ever heard. If you go watch it, just her voice alone uh, was the weird. Does Condoleezza Rice sound like that? I've heard her speak, and it was beyond, beyond weird um but so the movie there were great parts about it i really loved the parts with um um james cromwell and ellen burston played the first george bush and barbara bush and um they were phenomenal and you know what um, um what's his name um josh brolin was really good playing um uh george w bush here's what i thought okay it didn't cover the right things like there was no interpretation of the 2000 election against Al Gore, which I think was like a, well, I don't know, biggest defining moments in history, right? It didn't, like, you didn't see him when he found out about 9-11. Like, these are big moments in his presidency, and it, they were ignored. Like, alluded to, but ignored. And, um, like, it just covered weird parts. And then there was this one, like, him, they, they kept going back to him in a baseball field with, as a metaphor for something, like, still can't figure out. I just was like, what? Anyway. Maybe I was too tired. This is not a good movie review. But I didn't love it. There you go. I'm going to go see Rachel Getting Married this week. Jonathan Demme film. He directed Science of the Lambs. And Anne Hathaway is getting amazing reviews in it. And um, Deborah Winger plays, I think, her mother in it. And I love Deborah Winger. She was the brunette, the daughter, in terms of endearment. And Officer and a Gentleman. And... Uh, a bunch of a bunch of things. Anyway, so there you have it, my review. Now we're gonna take this blog out with playing with Wee Wee a little bit. We're that's how we're gonna end it. And listen, I'm on vacation, so I'll post a little, pop in a chat, maybe. I'll, ooh, this week I'm gonna hang out with not only Dr. Neighbor Ryan because Ryan's back in town, Nikki because Nikki's back in town. I mean, we're gonna get some blog buddies on here, some blo Ross blog favorites, okay? And maybe I'll pop in a chat, too. I'll put the alert out. Don't worry. Okay, everyone have a fantastic day, and I'll see you super soon. See you tomorrow. Promise. Oh, I need a Diet Coke. I'm totally back on. Okay, peace out. Bye. <laughs> He's the prettiest girl. Are you the prettiest girl? Are you the prettiest girl? <gasps> You're the prettiest girl. I love you. What do I taste like? <laughs>